Hi, my name is Muni Vector, President of Access Technologies. I graduated from George Mason in the fall of 2012. Access Technology takes innovative university research beyond just academics. Winning grants from DARPA and other small business innovative research, Access hopes to provide practical information, technology, and security solutions to industries using only the latest research. Here's our latest project. Enjoy. Biometrics nowadays are used in airports to identify people coming into the country and to access secure areas in buildings or laptops. However, why isn't biometrics replacing passwords, keys, or website logins? There are several problems. First, space. Biometrics are huge files of data and take a lot of digital space. It is not as easy as storing a password. With a lot of users, it would require a lot of space. Secondly, time. Matching biometrics takes a lot of time, even for forensic departments in CSI. If the biometric being matched is against a large set of possibilities, it would exponentially cause delay in the system. Next, there's the false error rate. False rejection and false acceptance rate are problematic in most biometric applications. Most of the algorithms used in these applications will find more than one match if the set of possibilities are too large. Then there is the enrollment issue. So many systems are all different and all of them don't like sharing information. You have to re-enroll for each different biometric system. There is also a privacy problem. Biometrics are being stored and available for people in the back end to access. If somebody hacks or gains access to these storage spaces, they can steal other people's identity. Biometrics are almost impossible to change. Finally, cancelability. If somehow somebody did take your biometric or if the biometric was altered, there's no way to change the biometric in the system. Basically, your data is lost. Luckily, Access Technologies is here to help with an innovative and new emerging technology. Biometric encryption is the solution to all of these problems while providing even more functionality. The system doesn't even have to store the biometric, only the data that is encrypted with biometric. The data will require smaller storage space and less time to process. The false error rates are nullified because the complexity of the algorithm can be improved. Enrollment is as simple as passing the encrypted data to a new system. The privacy won't be an issue because your biometric isn't being stored, and the encrypted data can always change. If the, it is stolen, you can always get a new one.